So today we've come to North Weald. Don't actually know what we're looking at here. Some something abandoned here. house over apparently. there somewhere behind this fence. Something or other. Will we get in? We will find out. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there a horse out there? No. Yeah. Oh, look at that view over there, though. Also testing out the bag today as well. This big thing here for the uh, big trip we're planning. I think these are test bits. Yeah, probably. Yeah, so that's what I was saying. We're looking at bags as well today. So we're testing this bag. Low Alpine Manaslu 5570. Um, I think we want a bigger bag. But definitely need something bigger than yeah, this. Yeah, we like the idea and the way it all lays out. So we're going to look at the next one up, I think. I think they're doing that 85 litre one. Oh, it's hard to see with his glasses on. Oh, yeah, that's why I have to stop. Be like an old lady in it go, ooh. Yep, nothing. It's a different gate up there, maybe. Right, we're going to have a little walk around, see if we can find a hole in this gate and then a. Uh, We'll come back once we found one. So literally, as I ended that clip, we walked into this. <laughs> Always the way, whenever you turn the camera off, you can guarantee that's when your footage is gonna come. Um, oh, bag's a bit big. We've got a car, we've got a car. Yes. Yes. You see that? <laughs> this bag's a bit much for the tree. Swim. Didn't bring my swimming trunks, unfortunately. Bad boy. Eh? How many ponies do you reckon she's got? At least like 20. Look at all them stickers. Do you reckon that worked in amp powers or horse powers? Horse powers. Let's see if the home works. Go on, give her a bib. Right, so we've just left the little car. There should be a fault somewhere in here. I'm not actually sure where about. Oh, that goes in the bag, breaking stuff. Um, somewhere in here, somewhere. Through these woods. We should, uh... Yeah, nice. If you just press the record, even when it's off, and it mm. goes into record. Yeah, that comes straight up. Yeah, that's good then. It's showing back the customer service with this brand of cam uh, camera, innit? Yep. Otherwise, we might have been sitting here picking up what brand it is and all that. Yeah. Even though they can see what you're using. Yeah. <laughs> they can see what you're using and then vice versa. Not mentioning it. Yeah. We'll uh, blur that out on the footage. Where is. Oh, oh, oh. There's something. The average brand of camera. What the hell is this? There's some bridges in that down there. It's like a dam or something. Isn't it? Yeah. Almost like um, like ships used to be here, but doubt that. Let's not die. By the way, if anyone's wondering, would you want a fresh coffee? <laughs> <laughs> We're not out murdering. Oh, there's a gun down there. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Free gun, so if anyone wants it, it's just this down there. Get that on this one. Yeah. So, it is what it is. This is the fault. I'm going to have a little wander around now. 
See what else is here. Should we go up onto that hill over there? Yeah. Bit of a vantage yeah, point then, isn't it? This is so weird though. Like, what, what was this? I reckon it was um, not obviously submerged underwater. Mm. <laughs> what, like? Yeah. Oh, these are like wounds and stuff. Yeah. Oh. We're gonna walk the walk. Let's walk the chalk. There's more. This is so weird, man. Oh, I think there's a bridge up there. So, so we might want to come down that way, maybe. Go down here and walk round, I reckon. Go down here, I reckon. This looks like the best place. Right. Well, looks like we're going for a paddle. Hopefully there's a couple of oars around here, do you know what I mean? Everyone loves a good oar. Look, got a river. There's our new dinghy over there. Listen, I'm moving in. This this place has everything. <laughs> it's got garages that Yeah, we have the full garages now. In there. Let's see let's see where that thing is. That's what I'm saying, walk over the bridge and that should bring us out over by them buildings over there. Yeah, and the van's actually parked down there, isn't it? Oh, look, there's oh, stairs. stairs. Oh, yeah, this is really nice. Look at this. As well. Don't think we'll be going down there. Such a shame it's all flooded. Just shows you how deep that water probably is, then, doesn't it? Yeah, that's pretty fucking deep. Whoever got that dinghy had the right idea, really. Yeah. Maybe that's what we should have done, got a dinghy. Look, I told you, you need yeah, but oh mate, this is gonna be fun with a bag. Look at this. Yeah. Now it's Martin. Oh, YouTube. YouTube video. Oh. <laughs> the only thing with this bag, obviously. We need to have a big bag for what we're planning. Natural brick shit house. Mad, that looks just like his mum. Built like a brick shit house. Oh look. Yep. We could have come straight in there right where we've parked. That's <laughs> yeah. Always the way though, isn't it? You have to have a little wander around first. Admit it to the subscribers, mate, they need to see it. Whoa, there's a hole here. To be fair, I don't think there's any point in coming here because can't get no further. This is it. Continuing on, we found another path that should hopefully take us into that next building. Yeah, without having to climb through all that shit. Yeah, without having to go through everything like this. In my shorts. I want to go in these buildings first though. Yeah. These look a lot more accessible, these ones. Through the roof. Oh, the man, roof. If I can slide the drone out the roof. That'd be cool. Um, yes. Oh, look, we can walk straight in doorway. Look, that's what doors are made for. Oh, maybe it's come. Oh, 
Aha, uh -huh. and there's the path over to the other building. Looks like Dinkle's already beat me over there. Look at this roof work. Cool, look at that one. Can't stop sneezing. <laughs> he gets himself in the right pickle. Look at the state of him. <laughs> I suffer really bad with hay fever. Really oh, bad with hay sunlight. fever. I have to have injections every year, constantly take tablets. Ruins me. Him, <laughs> it's just sunlight. Sunlight absolutely destroys him. Can you see in there? All right, so should we actually talk about why are we actually doing this channel and why we're we going around filming stuff even though we've never done anything like this. This isn't our I trade. About five minutes, really. yeah. Well, everyone dreams of like going away on holiday for like two, three months, four months, whatever. Everyone says, oh, I wish I'd be on holiday forever. We thought, well, maybe forever it might be a long time, but at least for a year, why don't we um, spend it away? See the world a little bit. Because I'm um, kind of bored sitting here just working, doing the same old stuff over and over. Big world to see out there. Yeah, exactly. So we're planning on just doing like, I don't know, I, I want to say like a little trip, but I don't know if it's a little trip. Just spending a year on the road in like sort of Southeast Asia, like Asia really, mainly. That's what sort of interests both of us. We originally planned to drive to the other side of the world. Yeah, but then that... Uh, we realized that's, <laughs> that's a trip for the rich. Um, yeah, every single country is just another extra thing that you've got to fill out, pay for, bribe. And um, the bribes get expensive in the end. We, we had a look yeah. and you can end up paying 500 percent the vehicle value and losing that yeah. bribe and it if anyone's ever looked into doing something like this like driving a car across like up to asia like thailand um you probably know about um was it big net was it no that's not was it carnet isn't it yeah. carnet, carnet, carnet yeah so um you gotta pay each country's like was it like tax sort yeah. of thing up front before you bring the car in because basically it's um importing a vehicle that's the way that they see it so 
we didn't really fancy doing that because it really starts working out to be quite a lot of money. And yeah. um, uh, when you leave the country, uh, it's hard to get your car valued yeah. less than I think it was one or two one, thousand pounds. Yeah, one thousand pounds. One thousand pounds. So if you turn up to a certain country and you've got to pay five hundred percent tax, you can end up paying like five thousand pounds just to get yeah. your car in. Yeah. And that's before you've got in. That's before you've paid fuel. Yeah. Everything like that, and you yeah. do need guides for quite a few countries yeah. and stuff. So we've decided we're going to fly. Yeah. Um, fly out to India and then yeah. Hopefully stop from there. Unfortunately, we can't get in anywhere before. Mm. Um, We'd like to go Iran, Afghanistan, yeah, that, Pakistan, that's, that's the dream really, Iraq. It? I mean, th th there's a lot of stuff over there. That's, it's beautiful scenery, mm. and um, it's something you're not really going to get to see. Yeah. So we, we would have liked to see it, but unfortunately, it's it's not really a viable option for us. Yeah, and the thing is, you get the car name back as long as you bring the car back. The whole plan of the trip was buy a cheap 4x4, kind of turn it into like a semi-camper, yeah, know, it's something that you can something sleep can in. You, you don't you don't need a hotel. That was the whole point. Like we save a load of money, sleep at the side of the road if you want. You got your little cooker set up and everything, and um, yeah, yeah, drive through there, get to whatever country we want to get to, and then leave the car, sell it, scrap it, surrender it to government, whatever we've got to do, just to um, sort of. We don't want to drive back, that's going to be a long, long, long trip. I don't really want to come back at all, to yeah, be fair, if yeah, I'm honest. Exactly. So. Um, but yeah, so we're yeah. looking to fly now. We're going to fly out to India and then um, travel by land across yeah. with our backpacks um, mm -hmm. and see what happens. Yeah. And we're planning on vlogging daily or weekly or every couple yeah, of days as much we'll as see. we possibly can. Yeah. It's mainly just to have like a record for ourselves so yeah. we can see what we've done. And obviously, it would be boring just watching clip after clip after clip of just us going yeah. oh wow that's cool so we sort of we put it in this kind of format so it'd be kind of interesting for us to watch it back and for anyone that's kind of interested in doing this yourselves or just watching this kind of i just stuff. want to add we're both not rich in any way at all we're both no. completely broke to Spe be fair. Yeah, spending the next year <laughs> we're, we're good saving yeah we're saving we've, we've got generic jobs we're not we're not on mega wages yeah. we're, we're nothing like that mm -hmm. So we're we're just general people, but um, yeah, we're uh, we're planning on flying. We we'll get over there and then hopefully vlog as much as we can, just for our yeah. own records and so our family can see it. And if anyone else is thinking of doing this, it, it's definitely something that's achievable. Yeah. I mean, we're going to try and document as much as we can on what we've needed to do, yeah. um, how we've gone about getting visas, this, that, and the other. Just so not just for our records so other people can refer back to this and go and do it yeah. for themselves because it's, it's so achievable but any ideas or anything or if anyone wants to yeah. help us out with anything or give us any helpful yeah, some tips. tips some filming tips yeah, or editing tips because we've never we've, um, done this uh, yeah that's it from us at the minute so yeah we'll see you once we find some more cool stuff i guess yeah peace so we've just come out <laughs> There's two security vans sitting there waiting for us, um, telling us we're not allowed in there. Oops. So I just want to throw it out there for people. Don't go there. Yeah. At least yeah, um, if you do go, don't be one of them people that just goes and breaks stuff or like. Yeah, the graffiti is cool, but it's not really great. It's, it's private property. People shouldn't be destroying stuff that doesn't yeah. belong to them. So. The security guards were nice enough. Yeah. Um, just sort of had a little chat with them. It wasn't aggressive or upset with us in any way. So, but just throwing it out there, you're not meant to be there. We didn't make any noise. Obviously, we was flying the drone about. We were flying it about legally, like we was on the nats and all that sort of stuff. So, they've obviously picked us up through something like that. But, um, yeah, just be a bit careful if you do go there. Try and keep yourself to yourself and not be seen. Um, and don't damage the place.